Hello, Zach here, and I wanted to let you know about and encourage you to participate in the caretaker assistance teams. It is a idea that uh, we can work together to provide aid and assistance to those in the medical field in order that they might be able to uh, prevent from getting sick and to help those who are already sick. Now, when I first came up with the name Caretaker Assistance Teams, uh, the acronym was not in my mind, but since the internet likes cats anyway, we're going to stick with it. So, cat. I wanted to inform you of a very real and urgent need that is getting the ask to those who are doctors, uh, RNs, techs, um, food service, maintenance, all of those who work in the hospital, the schedulers, um, in uh, doctors' offices, all of those who come in contact with sick sickness, and specifically the COVID-19 virus, um, in order that we can help protect them better. And there will be a link in the description of this video on how to make the masks as well as a do-it-yourself or DIY method of making shields, uh, face shields that will protect them from droplets, from coughs and sneezes of those who are already uh, infected with the virus. So, as you can see on the screen, there is a list of specific assignments and uh, activities that are urgently needed. Um, and I have them in funny or fun names in order to uh, give it something easy to remember by as well as uh, bring some, some humor. Um, this is a stressful time. But we can still have joy in knowing not only that we are helping others, but that we can ourselves uh, get through this. Um, so I've listed just just five, um, and I haven't included uh, the leader of a team, but it would be good to have a point person to oversee all of this just to keep it running smoothly. So if, if you want to put, uh, you know, the, the top cat as, as one of them, that's, that's great and fine as well. I'm going to run over these briefly. The backers are the people who are going to be, uh, helping, uh, simply by putting the money, um, to buy the materials that need to be made. Um, maybe you're in a situation where you can't, you're quarantined, you can't get out of the house, you can't be, uh, do much of anything other than pray and financially help people. That's huge. Um, these jobs are not in any particular order as in of a, importance. And the goal here is to unite together in order to help those who are helping those who already have the COVID-19 or may become exposed to it. So we move on to hunter and gatherers. These people are the ones who are going to use the money to gather supplies, gather uh, materials needed to make um, the masks. And again, I'll, I'll put uh, a link in the description for what is needed to make the mask so that the hunter gatherers can help with that. Um, as it says there, as a pun, the next list is not just so-so, uh, the seamless warriors. Those who can sew and assemble the masks, um, whether with a sewing machine or handmade, whatever the case may be, you don't have to be a seamstress 
in order to do this. You just have to follow the instructions. So don't think that you're out of the game just because you're not a professional seamstress. Um, the older generation is very skilled in this area of uh, making their own clothes and dresses, as well as I'm looking at you uh, cosplayers who make your own costumes. Millennials, now is the time. Um, as well as every other generation, to step up and help. So if your goal is to help and your motive is compassion with each one of these assignments, you can do that. Um, we move on to the, the wheel man and the wheel woman. Um, these are the individuals who are going to do the on porch delivery or pickup um, of those who are the se seamless warriors um, they're going to go on routes uh, picking up bags full um, of 10 or more is what we're doing my particular group of 10 or more masks and delivering them to the local hospitals and doctors. Um, I emphasize hospitals first because they're the ones who are actually treating the COVID-19. But we, once we have in our local areas equipped the COVID-19 of these, I mean the hospitals of these uh, reusable, washable masks, and or shields, face shields, then we can move on to helping uh, doctor's offices, etc. Um, as we do that, we're going to need people to deliver. These need to be healthy people. These need to be uh, conscientious people who uh, wear gloves, who uh, keep the bags tight and tight, um, and that's also up to the seamless warriors who are being health conscientious. Every single one of these people need to be cautious so as not to add to the workload that the healthcare system is, is already dealing with with the COVID-19. Um, so our will men and women. That leads into the referees. Why am I calling them referees? Uh, because they make the calls. Yes, an another pun. Um, that we need people who, on your specific cat teams, that can call the healthcare professionals and find out what their greatest need is, um, while all the rest of it is going on. They're also going to find out what, uh, the best way to deliver the masks are, as well as uh, ask and make sure that uh, we do everything to where we are helping and not hurting. Uh, the referees also can call local businesses and uh, see if they have any masks that are not being used because a lot of businesses have these and they just don't know to donate yet so if you are a business um shout out to you please help um as far as the referees go you only need one or two on a team because we don't want again to harm the healthcare system by having dozens of calls coming in when there really only needs to be one or two people finding out the information. So with each of these cat specific assignments, stay uh, in communication with each other and stay uh, vigilant about keeping your distance from each other. We live in a day and age where that's possible through emails, through phone calls, through social media, through apps. We have been blessed to be born into a time where we can work together as citizens 
um, in order to accomplish great goals and missions. I was talking to a lady uh, a few days ago over Facebook, and she said that the uh, fantastic video that is already out, and it will be in the description of the Deaconess Hospital that they have put out on how to make a face mask for doctors, nurses, and healthcare workers, COVID-19, how a few things that she has learned, and so there's four steps of uh, making it uh, simply uh, more effective and comfortable for the people who are wearing it. We absolutely thank the Deaconess Hospital for putting out that video. As someone who has personally been in and out of hospitals my whole life for various health reasons, I wanted to include this picture of actual healthcare doctors. Um, some of these I know personally, and some of these are stock footage pictures that I found online. But I wanted us to remember that they are real people with real dreams, with real goals, um, who love people and who are loved. And it is important that we not just get to work and forget the seriousness and the compassion of helping individuals who are on the front lines right now of this worldwide epidemic. Um, I hope that you will join me and I hope that you will uh, be safe, act urgently, and have fun. Thank you. Caretaker assistance teams, assemble.